Hi guys, it's Crystal City Girl Homestead. And Jack. So today's day two of waffle. This one's going to be easy, fun, and hopefully very, very tasty. <laughs> so we're going to actually make actual waffles today. So we have a whole box here, the pancake mix that we bought. And then I'll add as I need to with water. Because once again, with your waffles, you want them a little bit thicker than what you would do your pancakes. Well, you can get thick pancakes too, so I guess it really wouldn't matter. We aren't going to do anything stupid today. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> you guys like that, how we mess up, huh? <laughs> Yeah, the stuff that we had yesterday, uh, my girlfriend, she had four of them, and I only had one. Yeah. She is a bottomless pet. I don't know where she puts all her food. Just unbelievable. Like, I only ate half of one. Tom ate two and a half, and he took a half today for work, or two for work today. And he's been loving my brownies, by the way. And Courtney got one today, too. Exactly. Yeah. And then my son said when he drops off my grandson tomorrow, he goes, where's my brownie? <laughs> That's what I had you take out of the freezer. Oh, okay. So today, after, um... You know what? I never make Jack do prep. Stir that, Jack. <laughs> Um, today at the bottom, you will see where it says, you know, you can, um, support my channel or whatever. They finally approved my affiliate for, um, Rada Knives. So, um, I don't have a discount code or anything like that, but every time that you buy, um, anything from them, I do get a percentage because I truly, truly did fall in love with Rada Knives and... Yeah, I'm going to continue. Are you hungry, Jack? Why? I can hear your belly growling. <laughs> I could sincerely just sit here and hear his belly growling. Give us some real, like, you're strong, dude. I'm afraid I might break this. You break it? Alfred will come over from Connecticut and hurt you. <laughs> Get all the clumps out. What is that? Jack's like, I hope so. Damn, boy, you need to eat something. Who? Look at eat the openers. <laughs> I don't know. You look like you're starved. All right, so now we're just going to open up. We are using the Beaver one. And I know it's, it's supposed to not stick, so, but I don't like to take chances. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put those on here. Oh, it might help if I told them what we were having today, huh? Yeah. We're doing pizza waffles. I was going to do a stuffed pizza waffle, and then they sent us the wrong um, pepperoni. So that's we picked a different way to do them, which is fine. All right, so that's how you want to do your waffles, Jack. And then we're going to close that lid down, and we're going to let it cook. Now, on these, I want to cook them. It's all right, Jack. You can clean the mess up afterwards. Um, I'm going to cook these a little bit longer because I want them on just a little bit of a crisp side because, obviously, when we bake them, we don't want them all soft and icky. So... We're going to cook them for just a little bit longer. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we have the first four done. So what I'm going to do is just transfer them over here to my baking sheet. <laughs> and then we're going to do the next one. I'm not using that much on there, so... 
I'm gonna put more on it like that. Yeah, he didn't put enough on his last one. They don't get very thick if you don't do that. Nope. And kind of just see how I'm rubbing them in, Jack. He has his own stuff, but honestly, he doesn't. He doesn't cook when you're not around, do you? No. Nope. He likes having the stuff, but he doesn't use it much. Well, I didn't use this yet because I still had the other one. All right. So then we're going to close it and get them to cooking. So let's see how you do it this time. You're going to have to have that spoon pretty much full. All right, now take just the bottom and kind of cream it to the edges there. There you go. There, that's better. <laughs> you want it all the way to the edges. There you go. There you go. You need a little bit more on there, though, Jack. That might have a little bit too much, but that's okay. Here comes our superstar. Can you hear? Yeah. Watch when you sit down. <laughs> Well, that's, that's where she's at. Yeah. There, how's that? Now close your lid. There we go. See, Jack's learning. So maybe you can start doing this when you're not here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to let these cook for a minute. All righty, so now we're back. Jack wanted to do... 12. I only have 8, so maybe Missy will have to eat it all. <laughs> so we're going to take pizza sauce. Sprinkle that over top. Hopefully we got enough now. <laughs> and then you're going to put that over the, the top. She'll see pizza that might be smart that you did the extras because she'll want it all. <laughs> Just because it's pizza. All right, and then I'm not going to double cheese it. Do you think we should double cheese it? Mm, I'm not going to do it. I said we can. Yeah. And then we're going to put pepperoni on it. So you should be able to fit four pepperonis on each one. You guys can't believe what we're having tomorrow is going to be amazing. But besides that, yes, if, we're done with that. if you look, there's so many different things that you can do with waffles. It's just like... It's the possibilities are endless. And I think that's what I like. Is that, you know, you can take your normal, what you think would be breakfast food, and make it into dinner. Because, like, Tom, he's a Waffle House kind of guy. <laughs> If we lived down south, we'd be at Waffle House every day. Then I'm going to take some mushrooms on mine. Jack didn't want mushrooms, so I'm not sharing. Ha, 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 ha. Tell you the truth, I, I don't think I've ever been to a Waffle House. You've never left the state of Michigan other than Ohio, have you? Nope. It used to be when I lived in... Dearborn, there used to be a, like a waffle thing over there across the street from where I live, but I never went there. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah, Waffle House is down south. I think there is one in Ohio, but all my southern peeps could tell you it's a southern thing. We go anywhere and Tom's like, Waffle House, Waffle House. <laughs> he says it funny, doesn't he? Waffle House, Waffle House. Yeah. All right, so then we're going to take our mozzarella cheese, whatever kind you want to use. You do you. I want mozzarella cheese on mine. If you want anything other than mozzarella, Jake, you run to the store. <laughs> and I'm going to show you something else while this is cooking that I'm going to do for Tom. These are going to be so delicious, I can tell already. <laughs> Anything pizza is always good, you guys. Seriously. All right, so when you put yours in, you can put mine in. How's that? Uh -huh. Here's the cheese. Because <clears throat> I'm going to start on what I'm doing for Tom. All right, I'm going to turn that up a little bit. So, I made up some more batter. And what I'm going to do is, I've got some blueberries that I have frozen, and I'm going to put them in that batter. Because he's been liking having the waffles every morning that I made from the other day. And he tried them in the microwave, I said, try them in the toaster. And he did it today finally in the toaster, and he loved it. So... I said, you should listen once in a while. Because <laughs> in the microwave, it just made them hard. So giving you the heads up on that. All right. I think I'm actually going to add just a little bit more mix. I'll be right back. All right. I think with the little bit of blueberry juice that there was in there, it actually made it a little bit thinner than what I wanted. So... Now we're going to put that mix, and you can freeze this. You don't have to keep it in the refrigerator. I have it in the refrigerator for him this week because I know he's going to eat them all. But you can freeze them. They'd be just like your Eggo waffles that you buy at the store, except for you can add whatever you want to, to them, or just have plain ones. Jack's putting our pizzas in the oven. But I'm going to make enough that I can actually put some in the freezer. Because I don't know about you guys, I like Tom to have a nice breakfast before he leaves to go to work. And after a while, oatmeal just gets to be, like, old. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to cook these up with him. And then we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Alrighty, so we're back. So I'm going to show you what I've done for our side salads today. Remember I had a little bit of that lettuce left the other day. I made one salad into that one. And then I used our salad mix. And I'm going to add some of our toppings there. That really does taste good on it, doesn't it, Jack? Yeah. And then we had just a little bit of pepperoni left. So we're going to add the pepperoni to the salads, too. You know, there was only maybe six pieces left. It really wasn't worth saving in the refrigerator and then when you find them again they'll be green right so mm. <laughs> yeah we didn't need to do that i don't believe in wasting nope all right and then i got a sink full of dishes don't i then we're gonna put a little bit of that cheese on there i think side salads go with just about everything And it's good to have the green. All right. And here you go with this, Jack. I'm going to put my tube over here off the side. We got a great big, huge bag of salad coming, so a two-pound bag. <laughs> That's going to be enough. 
So here you can put yours over with your stuff. All right, so while we were cooking dinner, I have a whole week of waffles here. And what I'll do is I'll put some in. We're not ready yet, Jack. I don't know. I'm go right here. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a whole week of waffles here. You can always put them in the freezer, or you can just put them in a gallon baggie in your refrigerator and use them up that week. So in the time that it took to bake these, I got breakfast. So just saying. We can always do, and you can always add anything to it. That's hot. That's our, oh, one's got a little bit of salt on it. <laughs> now look at these, you guys. I want to lift one up to show them. It's really hot because we just took it out of the oven. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So Jack, because he had a whole bunch of them, he cut one of his in half so that we can Try. test it. Don't you have a seat, Jack? Everybody can see you too. See us both at the same time. Well, oh, that's how it works? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. You ready? Mmm. Good night. That's good. And... It's got a little bit of a crisp to it, not too much, but it makes for a really good pizza crust. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's a winner winner pizza dinner. So do I. Mmm. <laughs> mm. And you can add whatever toppings you want. Um, you know what we forgot we should have done? What? Um, put a little bit of Italian seasoning on the top. That would have been really good. Alright. All right. So, there's dinner. I'm hoping tonight to have a um, garden update. Tom did clean it up and he took some stuff out that is dead for the season. And, um, because I had someone ask me about that today. He just, with getting in that accident yesterday, not he didn't get in an accident, but there was an accident on the highway. He didn't get home till 5.30. And he has to be to bed at 7. <laughs> so that means he's got to eat, take a shower, and get to bed. So hopefully we'll be able to get one done tonight. Um, you guys are a great crew. I really, really appreciate, appreciate each and every one of you. So. Bye. I'll be back in a little bit. Rick Thomas. There's a salad. There's even pepperoni in there. Uh, I'll eat a piece of that while you're for it, didn't I? And our, um, our salad toppings that I made, too. Pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm. So try that pizza, Tom. He's going to eat it just like a pizza. You know, I just thought of that would be perfect for kids' lunches and stuff. We think pretty good. it's a waffle. A waffle pizza? Yeah, don't you notice it's a waffle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see the squares. <laughs> we think I think it makes a great crust for pizza, don't you? Actually, not a bad crust at all. <laughs> they don't fall over. Yeah, it's a little bit stiffer, huh? Mm -hmm. So I take usually, it you, you like it because you haven't put it down until now. Usually pizzas, you got to fold them on top of each other and then eat them because it's going right. to fall over. Absolutely. And then I made you a whole bunch of blueberry waffles, too. Oh, yum. So tell them how you say Waffle House. No. <laughs> I love the Waffle House. <laughs> All right. He got home late today, but we are gonna. He's gonna get out there and do a um, quick Garden video, video and pick my tomatoes, and then he's gonna have to get in the shower and go to bed. But you guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing, and bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. No joking around tonight, huh? Just getting to that food. Have a good one, guys.